take those two guys. and welcome back to our YouTube channel and welcome to our little family tradition isn't that a beautiful home we're giants so we don't fit that's funny this is a collection of porcelain houses the Christmas village so this used to be big sister Juliet's job and it is now passed on to Jack with helpers. And we are starting to decorate for the Christmas holidays. So my elves are decorated with their Christmas hats. We've got our stockings up and a few decorations. The kids um, like to decorate with their homemade. You do? Yeah, we could do yeah, cotton ball cowmen. Yes, we could. So we are yeah, I got using my Christmas angel as a decoration in the house now. Of course, the kids can't do everything. Um, because she won't be used as a tree topper anymore. I have to pick up a pile of and put it underneath her. The boys went to go see the Polar Express this last weekend, and they each got a piece of this, and two of the boys have painted it. Trey got the tractor, Murdoch got the caboose, and Jack got the engine. Um, this is my little girl, Juliet, when she was about six or seven years old. This is my handsome husband in his senior picture. And these are my big boys when they were just little, and it was just the two of them. That's Jack and Murdoch. So Trey is unpacking. So the house is an absolute disaster right now. Because, of course, we... So much going on. We try to clean at the same time as putting away Thanksgiving. Here is my little Juliet when she was just a few months old. So every year I used to take Juliet to go see the Nutcracker at the Wharton Center at Michigan State University. So she would get a new Nutcracker every year. And this is baby Jack at his first Santa visit. So I won't put up the Christmas tree until later. But this is something that my mother-in-law made, and each button that's on here has an ornament, and this is a baggie full of ornaments that she cut from felt. So I am going to put interfacing on the back of all the ornaments this year because they are getting tore a little bit, and one actually got ripped in half last year. And this is what is going on for today. See, you can see as a whole, it's a wreck in here. And it's hot too. The sun is shining right in here. It's in the like high 40s outside today. With the windows open, it's 70 degrees in here. I had my Christmas hat on, but I got way too hot. And little George was all sweaty, so he got undressed. Yeah, he has discovered he likes to suck his thumb. Here's a little neat something that I got also. I actually got this at a raffle at a community um, potluck a couple of years ago. Neat little Christmas idea. I haven't gotten any new decorations in a lot of years, actually. So hopefully later on this weekend we'll be putting up some lights outside. I can't see anything, you guys.
can I see? And can, can you move your songbook? Just a minute, Bethany. Mommy wants to see, okay? This is Jack's new piano. And it serves as a great placing for the Christmas Village. And we have more room if we want to divide and put a couple buildings over here on the tractor um, thing or on a side table also, guys. They, can, they don't have to all be in one spot. The Christmas Village has grown and grown. Yep, I decided here we have the nativity scene by the church and there's some kids building up. Mm -hmm. And then you see kids and their dogs are playing. The kid, this kid lives at this house. Um, it's a mom. One person at a time, please. That's good. This kid lives at this right. house? Yep, he's building a snowman. Uh huh. Yep. Anybody going to the cigar shop? Yep, this guy's playing a violin. This kid's playing a violin there. Uh huh. I don't even know how to the cigar shop. Well, that's very, very nice, guys. Good job.